if you're um, really starting to think about sort of these negative age stereotypes of, oh, maybe I, you know, this is true, I can't do these things anymore, maybe I am aging in a negative way, that might lead you to, as an older person, to start thinking about, well, I guess I shouldn't try, you know, to take on, you know, some sort of weight training or resistance training or try this form of exercise, which we know there's so many health benefits to engaging in those kinds of physical exercise and health behaviors to improving aging in later life. So it can kind of undermine um, people's willingness to try new things, for example, and take on challenges if they're sort of getting these messages that they're, they're incompetent or incapable of taking those on. So if an older person believes the negative stereotypes that perhaps this benevolent ageism reflects, can it have an impact on the satisfaction with which they enjoy life? Sounds to me like you're saying it can. Absolutely. Um, the World Health Organization did a, a, a big report a, a few years ago on ageism, and they looked at studies from around the world. And uh, they found that uh, across you know, 45 different countries and over 400 studies that there's a lot of negative impacts of ageism along these different um, ways we talked about. But one of the things that they looked at was, for example, quality of life assessments among older people. And they found that um, to the extent that older people were sort of buying into those negative aging stereotypes, the more they did so, then the lower their quality of life um, they were mm. reporting to experience. So um, it definitely seems to have some sort of association with how people experience aging. Do we accept the fact that, that probably in the main, the people who are doing it don't mean to be ageist. They actually think they're being helpful. Yeah, that's the tricky part about benevolent ageism. Again, going back to that warm overtone, mm -hmm. it can be something that uh, people enact and trying to assist an older person, for example. The problem lies in the assumption that an older person needs the assistance in the first place. Um, and I'm not saying you can't offer help to an older person. Mm -hmm. uh, you certainly can, can offer that. But if they say, no, thank you, I can manage, or I'm, I'm fine, then I think we should allow older people to take on those challenges and, you know, and see what they can do if they feel they can take those on. So it's when we are really kind of forcing that unwanted help on older people that that can send a negative message to can them. I get, you know, something just popped into my head, and i got to get your advice on this. I was on the subway one day. <laughs> Um, I was on the subway one day, and a probably 20-year-old woman saw me standing and offered me her seat. And two things popped through my head. Number one, I thought, oh my gosh, am I actually at that stage of life now where people <laughs> look at me and think, you need some help, you better sit down. And the second thing was, I wanted to tear a strip off her and say, hey, what do you think's going on here? Now, how should... I just said, no, thank you. <laughs> but what should I have done? <laughs> well, that's, that's a, a great question. And the subway example comes up a lot because we actually see on the subway images of you should give up your seat for in, you know, icons of different people, like a pregnant person. Or, and one of them is a, a depiction of an older person, usually with a cane, it's the most common depiction. Um, so there is this message that you should give up your seat to someone who uh, seems older. Um, I, again, I would go back to, you can offer that seat to the older person, um, and if they refuse it and don't want it, then you know, you've know you offered the seat, and mm -hmm. that's, that's enough. Um, in the case of being offered the seat, um, uh, I've experienced that as well, where people are starting to be uh, more polite in offering seats. Seriously? Happens to you? I, it's happened to me once or twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and uh, I think you just want to, uh, again, politely thank them um, and not feel too bad about yourself in terms of uh, someone making that assumption because they could be offering you the seat for a variety of reasons. Yeah. So for example, as a woman, they might be doing it that way. Right. For me, um, I remember that being offered to me when I was pregnant uh, with my daughter uh, a long time ago. So there could be other reasons that that's being offered, not necessarily your age. Ageism. 